In this video, we're going to show you how to clone your hard drive using the free Niubi partition editor. They have a free version and a pay for version, but the free version allows you to clone your drive. So we're going to try this on the uh, Windows system drive and see if it will boot. Uh, we did another video on how to migrate your operating system using Niubi, and it actually worked very well, except we ended up with some extra drive letters that it took from like the system partition and that kind of thing, EFI partition. So I'll put a link in that video so you can see how that worked. All right, so we have this computer here. It's a virtual machine. So I just added another hard drive to it. So we'll, let's open up the usual disk management and see uh, what it looks like. Okay, so you, as you open it up, it's, it's plugged in, but it was never initialized. So we're gonna have to initialize it. We use GPT. And now it's got 100 gigabytes of unallocated space, so we're not going to do anything. We're not going to make a volume. We're just going to leave it unallocated. So now we're going to open up Niubi. Okay, so you see you've got the same thing. Here's our Windows drive. So what happened on the other video is it copied these partitions and gave them drive letters, and I was able to remove the drive letters except for the... Uh, one of the EFI partition, which is okay if you have that extra drive letter. It still worked fine, but you just had to deal with having that small little partition with the drive letter. So I'm not sure if that's a deal breaker or not. All right, so we have disk zero, this Windows drive, and here's the uh, new one we were just talking about. So we're going to do the clone disk wizard. Okay, so source disk is this 81, 80 gig drive. And here's the map of the drive, like we just saw. And the destination is going to be this 100 gig drive. Unallocated space here. Click on Next. And then you have this option here to delete all partitions on the disk, which it's going to need to do. So make sure it's blank and you don't have anything else on there because it's going to be wiped out. Okay, so we'll click the C drive partition and Next. Now you get this message if you want to Boot the system from the target disk. Please make sure that it's set to boot from the new disk and BIOS after cloning. So what I'll do is, uh, once we clone it, I'm going to remove the old drive and just have it boot off the new drive, and we'll see if it boots. So it's got to lock the volume, so make sure you don't have anything open, like File Explorer. Okay, so it kind of shows you the mapping here. So what you need to do now is click on Apply, because it's not going to do anything until you click Apply. And it says, close all of the applications, blah, blah, blah. Click OK. So now it's going to run through this process, which takes quite a bit of time. So I'll pause the video, and then I'll be back after that. All right, so everything's done. Uh, so everything looks about the same here. So we got the 80 gig main partition here. This was a this was an 80 gig total. This was a 100 gig total, I believe. So now we have 20 gigs unallocated. So it looks like it just took the 80 and left the 20 unallocated. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it down, remove this original hard drive, and then make this one the main hard drive. So this is a virtual machine, so it's pretty simple to do. But if this is your physical computer, you you know disconnect this one and just plug this one in. So this would be the main drive, and we'll see if it boots up. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we got a Windows logo, so that's a good sign. All right, I've got a login screen, so let's log in and see what we get. All right, let's open up File Explorer, see what we got here. All right, PC, C drive, no other weird drive letters like we got when we did the uh, migrate option. So this looks like the clone might have been the way to go rather than the migrate. So if we open that up here, let's see what the properties say. Yep, so 80 gigs. Let's take a look at a, let's look at a disk management. Yeah, we got that 20 gigs unallocated space. So like I said, it took the uh, 80 from the original drive and then we could, what we could do, we could just do this. Actually, see, this is a problem too, where if you want to extend this volume, we have this 495 megabyte uh, 
partition in the way, so that's blocking this one, so to speak. But fortunately, the Niubi could have fixed that too. We actually did a video on how to do that. Okay, so if we do the resize move, we should be able to move that over to the end there. So now this is uh, next to it, so click OK and apply it. Okay, so now let's actually do this from disk management just to prove it works here. Now this is next to this. So we've got the 20 gigs unallocated next to our original volume here. So let's, now we could extend the volume. So now we've got the whole 100 gigs. So that's another cool thing that this Niubi will do is it'll let you rearrange your partitions so you could uh, do what you need to do for extending volumes and that kind of thing. All right, so that was a success. So I will uh, put a link to the software in the description. You could uh, download it and try it yourself and start cloning your hard drives. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.